Good evening. Good evening, Nelson. Good evening, Carla. How are you, Carla? Hello, hello. So we're waiting for Nelson. <laughs> Fine, thank you. How are you? you? Right. So how was your day? I am fine. Great. Good to know that. Right. So ready for the class? Yes. Excellent. Because today you are going to participate a lot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So good evening, Vanessa. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I'm a little tired. How are how are you? Oh, I see. Well, I'm also a little bit tired, but I'm happy that I'm all with here. I mean, I'm here with you guys having the opportunity to continue talking about that interesting topic, right? And uh, willing to, um, you know, with the conversation, of course, right? So let's see, we have Erica. Good evening, Erica. Good evening. Good evening, Isela. Hello. Hello, good evening. Excellent. All right. Well, let's see here. Oh, I can see Nelson there. Hello, Nelson. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. I'm fine, teacher. Great, great, great. Excellent. That's actually nice. Okay. Yes. So I do uh, apologize yes. for the noise, but you know, it seems to be that tonight there are a lot of dogs on the street. Oh, okay. All right, awesome. So let's see here. All right, so let's see. We're just waiting for one more minute to see if somebody else can join the class. So then we can start right now with the first activity. Good evening, Mr. Luna, how are you? Hello, hello. I would like to you. Uh, my home. Good, good to know. Thank you for asking. All right. So let's see. Anything else right here? Okay. Just waiting for. Okay, okay. 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 Excellent. So we already have one minute here. So we are going to start right now with the first of my classes practicing the pronunciation. That's the reason why we are going to go here with a tongue twister. All right. So let me share this screen right now. So you can see it. Please let me know when you can see the screen, guys. All right, it should be there already. I okay. Great, excellent. All right. So let's just go ahead and verify this one right now for you here. It says uh, this one, it's actually one of the most challenging um, tongue twisters that we might have sometimes, right? It's easy, but sometimes you confuse the pronunciation of the words, right? So, for example, it says right here, the number one says, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. Let's repeat the first line, everybody. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Repeat it. Peter, 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 Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peppers, peppers, peppers. Remember, so the peppers are the ones you can see um, here, right? So this one, those are the peppers. Mm -hmm. Peter Piper. 
Peter, 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 it's the last name. Peter, sorry, Peter's the name and Piper is the last name, right? Pick is the bird and they can pack, which is just like a bunch of them. All right. So then one more time. Peter, Piper, Pika, Peco, Pico, Peppers. Repeat it. Peter, Piper, Peppers. Excellent job. Let's continue with the second line. A peck of pico peppers, Peter Piper picked. A peck of pico peppers, Peter, Peter Piper picked. There you go. Excellent. So, if Peter Piper picked a peck of pico peppers. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pico peppers. All right. Excellent. Where's Where the peck of pico peppers Peter Piper picked? Where is the peck of peppers Peter Piper picked? Peter Parker. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different one. That's a Spider-Man. Yes, All yes. right. So, <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> yes, 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 of course. All right. So <laughs> then uh, let's just continue right now. So let's just practice it, practice it, practice it. All right. So, well, let's see here. So just for you to know that we are going to start practicing right now from the very beginning. We are going to like, you know, open the breakup rooms from now, right? So you can practice, all right? So, and then uh, you will be working in couples so you can practice the pronunciation of the um, uh, tongue twister, right? After that, you know, we will be practicing for just a couple of minutes, right? Perhaps only five minutes. And then after that, you will come back to the main session so we can select some volunteers to, um, you know, verify the pronunciation. Ready, people? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, sir. Awesome. All right. Yeah. So we'll be working in here. Six break of rooms. All right. And then uh, there you go. Please join your room and practice the tone twister. I will send the tongue twister to the WhatsApp group so you can check the image there, all right? Okay. Thank you. All right, I'm sending the image right now. Everybody, please join the rooms. Join the rooms, join the rooms, all right? So you can do it, come on, come on. All right, I can see some people already joining the rooms. Okay, okay, perfect. There you go. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Excellent. All right. All right. Too. All right. Gilman, if you can hear me, please join the room whenever you can. All right. Yes, we can. Yes. <laughs> All right, time to practice, ladies. Go ahead. Let me hear you. I, I... Okay. okay. I, I start. <laughs> I can start. Okay, okay. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled papers. A pack of, pic of pickled papers, Peter, Peter picked. If Peter Piper pick a pack of biker peppers where's the pack of biker peppers Peter 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 Pickle pick. Peter Piper <laughs> Peter Piker <laughs> all right so very good all right so you're you did good all right just need to remember some words need to be pronounced in a different way for example Peter Piper repeat it Peter Piper. Exactly. Then Peter Piper picked. Pick. Exactly. Peter so, Piper picked. Mm -hmm. Remember the bur it's it, it ends with a T sound at the end. A T. So picked. All right. It's not picket, it's picked. All right. 
Okay. All right. Eat awesome. It, bite it. Mm -hmm. You want to try again? Okay. Beat it, bite it, pick a pack of pike peppers. A pack of pickled peppers, peter, peeper, pike, pike. If better people pike a pack of pack of pickles peppers, mm -hmm. where's the pack of pickled papers, Peter Piper pick? Excellent. That sounds better than the first time. Now, Adriana, it's your turn. You can continue now. <laughs> okay. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled a pepper Peter Piper pick pick. If Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Hey, excellent. That's a very good job. All right. So thank you, girls. So you were doing actually an amazing job. Let's just continue practicing, okay? So I will uh, be closing the rooms in a moment, all right? Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. Uh, let me hear you. Let me hear you. Peter, Peter Piper picked a pick of piglet papers. A, a pick of piglet papers. Papers. Uh, Peter Piper picket. If Peter Piper picket a pick of piglet papers. Where's the pick of piglet papers? Peter Piper picket. Picked, exactly, right? So thank you. Just remember to have um the pronunciation of certain words there. For example, this though piglet will be like peck of pico, right? So Peter Piper picked a peck of pico peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pico peppers. There you go, Mr. Luna, you did good. Can you can you repeat the the the, the first the first the first sentence? line? The first line, yes. Sure, no problem. So that will be Peter Piper picked a pack of pico peppers. Pico. One more time. Pico. Yes. Yes. Peter Piper picked a pack of pico peppers. Peter Piper picked a pack of pico peppers. You got it, Mr. Luna. You got it. Thank you. All right, excellent. So keep practicing, and we'll choose some of you in a moment, all right? Okay. Hello, hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello? Peter? Peter, Peter, Peter. <laughs> Peter, Peter, picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers, Peter, Peter, picked. Mm -hmm. If a Peter, Peter, picked a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers? Peter, Peter, picked. Peter Piper, remember, Peter Piper. Oh, this camera was off. Uh -huh. Peter Piper. Okay. Exactly. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, excellent. So I will just choose some volunteers right now. So keep practicing. And in one minute, everybody can go back to the class or to the main class. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, we're going to wait for everybody else to join the class again so we can continue. All right. 
Hey, Hector. Good evening. Good evening, officially, Ivan. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Thank Mr. You. Appreciate right. it. Great. Ready for participating with the tongue twister? Yes, of course. Yes, awesome. So let's just now continue. We... Okay, who wants to be my first volunteer? Please tell me. Me, teacher. Okay, please go ahead. Okay, wait, wait. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Peter Piper pickle a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper Piker. If Pepper Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the ah, where's the peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked? <laughs> <laughs> right. So let me tell you that you started good, but then in the middle you got confused between Peter and Piper, right? So, but yeah, it was actually a good try. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good job. Now, any other volunteer? Hello, hello, another volunteer? Two, one, me teacher. All right, Mr. Luna, go ahead, please. Peter Piper picked a pet of pickles peppers, a pet of pickles peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pet of pickles peppers, where is the pet of pickles peppers, Peter Piper picked? Picked. All right. Excellent. Thank you. You got it. You got it. You definitely got it. All right. Thank you. Very good job. Thank you, sir. All right. So next Thank volunteer. You. And the ladies. Where are the ladies? Ladies. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Well, Maybe this, where, who was it? Vanessa, right? Yeah. Okay. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Okay, great. Excellent. Thank you very much. You were doing a good job on that one. Thank you, Vanessa. All right. So, well, Vanessa, you have the power. You can um, pick the next person. Nelson. Okay, Nelson, go ahead. Okay. Peter, right. people pick up. Peter, people pick up pick of pickle peppers. A pick of pickle peppers, Peter, people pickle. If Peter, people pick up pick of pickle peppers, where's the pick of pickle peppers? Peter, people pickle. Okay, thank you. Thank you for trying. All right, truly appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for practicing. All right, so as you can see, any other volunteer before we finish the activity? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, no problem. So we can continue right now with a different um situation here, a different activity. All right, so we are going to continue now with this one. So the topic for today, it's still about millennial. Oh my goodness. Let's just go ahead and verify something here. Quickly, 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 all right? Let me know whenever you can see the presentation. Oh, what happens with my presentation here? My computer got stuck, all right? Okay, excellent. Can you see now the presentation? Yes. Yes, yes, yes of course. Excellent. So, yeah, we definitely need to continue talking about yesterday's topic, right? The millennial generation. We are going to address more um, details right there for you, everybody. Can someone help me to read it, please? Excuse me. Uh -huh. Can someone help me to read the uh, question? Are millennials lazy and spoiled and entitled, or are they the screwed generation? 
Oh my goodness, it got a sneezing attack. Jesus, I'm sorry, okay? Thank you. Now let's go on this one. Uh, I have questions for you. What is the meaning of spoil? Like my criado. <laughs> Yeah, like my criado, she said. I like the Spanglish, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, <laughs> but thank you. That is correct. That is actually correct. So they are like sometimes it's because we won't we don't say like my criado maybe, but also mi mados, right? But they do whatever they want supposedly, right? And what's entitled? We checked that yesterday. Entitled. Let's see if you remember it. What is entitled? Do you remember it? It's like uh, ego, ego, personal. Uh -huh, exactly, with a big ego, right? Or big are ego. they the screw generation? You know what is the screw? Screw. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello? Like that is broken, no. Or like, that... you know, oh. exactly. Like the one not working anymore, right? So like the one that it's not actually... Uh, good, exactly. Thank you. All right. So let's see. Now that you understand the question, let me ask you the question. So who can tell me the answer? In your opinion, are millennials lazy and spoiled and in, entitled or are they the screwed generation? What do you think? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me just choose some volunteers here to see. Uh -huh. Let's see. Um, what is the meaning of screw? Screw, screw it's just for screw. example that it's not working anymore. All right, come on. Um, how can I say this one in Spanish? Let me see. Como arruinada, como echada a perder, como like, um, you know. Oh, okay. Like hopeless, mm. <laughs> right? So basically. All right, okay, so what do you think? <laughs> All right, so but now that you understand the question, Mr. Luna, so do you have a comment about this question? Can you share your point of view? Mm, I think this um, uh, is very lazy and spoiling and entitled. All right, so are you because... saying that because of an experience you have had recently, or why, what's your, why is your mm, opinion like no, that? I, I saw a video um, with one one owner of a company mm -hmm. he say don't don't be um uh, contratar and uh, is uh a, contratar is higher 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 a higher. people under 24 years mm -hmm. because this is it's it's a generation who his this generation only see the problems and don't don't do the don't do the the job for uh, resolve the problems. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. I might agree with you yeah, by the way. Think, mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly because the people is. 24 years or uh, 24 years under 24 years, I think this is in the millennial generation. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> we will yeah, see that I, later. But yeah, I don't have. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't have experience uh, working with uh, a millennial generation. Mm -hmm. My co-workers are the are the are the ex ex generation like me. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. What about but, you, uh, Ivan? So, do you think that millennials are lazy and spoiled? Um, in my case, teacher, uh, I don't have the uh, people millennial. I don't have. I mean, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't work with millennial people. Repeat it. Yes, I don't worry. No, no. The idea is this. Uh, 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 yes, in my in my company, there is a, a millennials. Okay. Uh, uh, 
but uh, mm, I don't know the people with a characteristics or or abilities. They're lazy. Mm -hmm. uh, is lazy uh, maybe? Um, um, I think so. <laughs> it's true. This is it's a little lazy. <laughs> <laughs> they are a little lazy. Oh my little, goodness! A little, <laughs> yes, 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 I think so. Uh, viéndolo bien, <laughs> pensándolo bien, si don Alvarado. <laughs> I don't complicate. Yeah, yeah, like that one exactly. All right. So well, and, let's and just the, don't complicate. Do not complicate your life. It's easier, right? I would like to hear a female opinion. All right. So let's see. Uh, Carla, Carla Leiva, tell us, uh, what's your opinion about this one? Are millennials lazy and spoiled? Do you work with millennials, by the way? Mm. Yes, I work with millennials. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. No, I think... Mm -hmm. I think... Uh, they are not lazy and spoil it. They are not? Mm -hmm. No, because I don't know, but in the company that I work, I work with a, a, maybe most of the engineers are millennials. And I think they work very good. Okay, very good. Excellent. So it's actually fine to see and interesting to see how you, many of you have different opinions, right? Which is good. All right, we are going to continue actually talking uh, about this one. So let's just go to the next slide. Thank you guys uh, who were participating before. Now, let's try to understand first who are the millennials. We were talking about that yesterday and we were comparing the generations and telling you from what age to, I mean, from what year to what year each generation it belongs to, right? All right, so it says there that millennials were born between, how do you say that year? Between what year and what year? No, uh, was born in uh, 19, 1981, between uh, 1997. Uh, this one right here? 1980. 1980s. 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 This one. 1980s. 18. Mm -hmm. And so, 2000, 2000. 2000, exactly. So they were born between the early 80s and the 2000s. So guys, when you see, for example, expressions like this, you know, you see uh, an S at the end. So they are talking about a decade here. So I'm talking about like 80s, you know, like la década de los 80, for example, all right? That's what it says right here. Not specifically about 1980, but the 80s. You know, those are chantas. That's actually what it says. All right. It's, it's, a, it's uh, 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 the expression is is nineteen uh, eighties is a decadence. Right. So if it is only the year, like for example, imagine I said, you know, Ivan, I was born in nineteen eighty. That's correct, right? But if you're talking about like for example, for example, sorry, Michael Jackson was famous in the eighties which is different, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about like the whole... Uh, all, all decadence. Correct, mm -hmm. correct, correct. Mm -hmm. So when you see Thank the you. S at the end of the number, it's because you're talking about like the 10-year period, right? Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. So this one is an era of expanding globalization and cultural diversity, all right? So like, you know, I haven't seen, um you know, as a faster change of... um you know, like of technology or improvement of technology that during this time, right? So I remember, for example, my grandmother or um, her friends telling me that in the past, they couldn't believe that they were going to see a plane or they couldn't believe that they were going to see um, TV or like with colors, right? Or they didn't expect to have cell phones because, that was a crazy idea. Or I remember, I don't know if you remember this cartoon. Well, if you are from my generation, you will remember this cartoon, The Jetsons. 
which in Spanish is los supersonicos. Have you heard about that? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> all right, excellent. Yes. So they have all those things that now we have. They had online classes. They have online um, consultations with doctors, right? They have um, work from home, actually, options, yes. All right. And something that I remember as a kid, it's that they have, like, smartwatch, you know? So they were calling people using their watch on the hand, all right? And, and now everybody has a smartwatch. Well, or at least most of the people. Do you have a smartwatch? I can use my watch. <laughs> yeah, no, you see, you have it right there, right? So everybody, it, you know, sometimes when you buy the phone, they give you a smartwatch for free, right? Or you can buy it with a discount, all right? So in all those those things that I was mentioning before, technological advances like internet and the wireless internet, right? So all those things like Wi-Fi change everything here, right? And then we have a comment. Uh, we have um, a phrase in the under the picture there, all right? Where it says, the millennials are testing much better since we changed through false to like, dislike. I have a question for everybody here. Do you understand what that phrase uh, mean or what are they trying to say there? Let's see someone who doesn't have the camera on, like Erica, Jamie, Ruth. Nelson, Fatima, Joel, man. All right. So, guys, do you understand what that phrase it's trying to say? It says the millennials are testing much better since we changed through false options to like or dislike. Would you agree, disagree? All right. What would you say about that? Hmm? Do you understand the phrase, by the way? So, for example, if I ask, um, let me see, Fatima. Good evening, Fatima. Good evening. All right. So, can you try to explain to me what what are you understanding from that phrase? I don't know. I think is when it's like when pass in the university pass a question question I. Mm -hmm. uh, about merchandising and it's more easy the it's question is easier. easier the questions when it's true or, or false or true false. or false okay or false false very good yeah you got you got the idea yes so it's actually something similar to that let me see hector good evening tell me what what do you understand with this phrase what the the millennial are the uh, that's one teacher the millennials are testing correct um hmm mm -hmm. yes I I think I think yes teacher because the millennials uh, I I think grow grown up um maybe com compare uh Como diría, with como diría, con más facilidades with easily most, ma? easily easily right. easily uh, information uh, they they have a lot of information they they could uh, search in the internet a lot of information mm -hmm. and I think it's, it's maybe easier for for they um but mm, we the the uh the x x men <laughs> the x general x have a, a different yes uh -huh. have a different um capacity 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 all right capacity all right excellent thank you very much so you go on this one there all right and you're right let me just explain what he's trying to say right here this is actually a phrase that is trying to tell us that, you know, millennials don't like to complicate your life that much, right? So, and we need to simplify all those things. Like, for example, in the past, they were giving you instructions, like when you go to school or university and saying like, please calculate the distance between the point A and the point B. 
Now they change that and says like, which is the correct answer? Letter A, letter B, letter C, letter D. And then they also change that to say like, um, is the option A or it's the option B, all right? So it like simplifying everything because people don't like to complicate their lives anymore. That's actually what this phrase is trying to say. And we were talking about that yesterday, saying that millennials are considered to be um, a little bit dramatic when it comes to complain, right? So in, let's say this one right here. Well, now it's telling us that we had to go to watch a video, all right? And we are going to, to see how millennials can actually um, change the job environment, all right? I have to say, people here, that I have my computer. Let me play the video, but I'll do my best. All right, give me one second here. Okay, one second. Okay, the video is here. Okay, I'm sharing the screen. Okay, here is. Okay, um, just meanwhile, I just uh, shared the video. I will just stop my, my video, right? So I can have a better quality, okay? Let me know if you can listen to the video when I play it. On industries, give me a breakdown. Chef? George, you oh, I Google them. Whether dollars a month on, and that you were specifically trained to use. Um. Workforce. They're called millennials, new breed of workers, so you can avoid immediately. In the first reimagining check while offering overflowing amounts of praise. Okay, excellent. So let's just check that part there. It says poured on the praise. What is it, people? What do you understand on that phrase? Pour on the praise. Hmm? Hello, hello? Mm -hmm. It's like uh is uh, lack lack the the people lack a, a praise or the uh, motivators. All right. So basically, let me see. Now that I just paused the video, I can turn my camera on. All right. So basically, what this is saying, you know, what is poor? It's when you have um recipient and you're going to add liquids to another recipient. For example, when you add water to a glass or when you add coffee to a cup. Right, this is poor. So basically, this is going to be like something similar to Spanish to say, como deshacerse en halagos, you know, o elogios. Oh, the poor is, is in, in Spanish, como derramar. O sea, derramar, vertir, exactly, right? Mm -hmm. okay. So deshacerse en, ala, en halagos, right? So it's telling you that if you're going to okay. hire a millennial, so you need to like praise the millennials a lot, for example, all right? Let's see uh, if it works. Let me just... Continue with this one right here. Mm -hmm. Ted, you were so smart to use Google. That's the perfect way to start the research. You're so smart. Great job. <laughs> Situation number two, scheduling. All right, so with the scheduling, what is it, people? What is the scheduling? So to see if you remember, we checked out yesterday. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Hello, hello. Like organize the time? Like organizing the time. That is correct. All right. So um to plan the things, to plan meetings, etc. Right. So let's see what the example says right now. So the uh, conference call is scheduled for 10 30. So they're on the same page. Let's do a pre-call about 9 30 a.m. I don't understand. Noodle, noodles, more, not nine thirty. Cheryl Sandberg here isn't aware time exists before ten thirty a.m. For her generation, there's a mysterious dead zone after four a.m. and before they stroll into work forty minutes late with their iced coffee. So take that into consideration for scheduling. That's very difficult for me. Fine, I'll, I'll take the call myself. Oh, thank you. Nailed it. All right, excellent. So they go for that. Situation uh, before, right? So, do you understand what happens on the video, people? 
Did you understand what was about the, the scheduling, right? Did you understand what was the situation between um, the man and the lady? So, so. <laughs> All right. Well, man. Okay, what did you get, for example? Take a look. Okay, we go back to situation number two, and it says about to plan a meeting. For example, the guy goes to the lady, says like, Hey, lady, tomorrow we have a meeting at 9.30. And the lady is just like, I don't understand. Because according to the video, millennials do not wake up early. Let's see again. <laughs> so the uh, conference call is scheduled for 10.30. So that we're on the same page. Let's do a pre-call about 9.30 a.m. I don't understand. No noodles. Noodles. Nine. Cheryl Sandberg here isn't aware time exists before 10.30 a.m. To her generation, there's a mysterious dead zone after 4 a.m. and before they stroll into work 40 minutes late with their iced coffee. So take that into consideration for scheduling. That's very difficult for me. Fine, I'll, I'll take the call myself. I'll be you. Nailed it. Okay, upward mobility, the situation number three. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're taking notes of the situations because we are going to talk about that, about them later, right? So upward mobility. What is upward mobility, ladies and gentlemen? Any idea? What is the word upward? Uh-huh. Any idea what is upward mobility? Hello? No. No? Okay, so um, it's a movement or the ability to move to a higher social class. You know, that's actually what it means. Um, like, for example, someone who might start working in a low paying job and then they move up into a higher paying job within the same company after a few years. For example, when you enter uh, to your companies and you start working with in the lowest position available or in the position they have available. But then with the time, uh, you get a higher position or a better position. For example, you might be an agent in a call center, but then when you get a higher position, you become a supervisor. That is an upward mobility to, to move to a higher social class or to a better position, let's say. Understand that? Yeah, but it's like uh, the fast. Uh, no. Let's say, for example, so the 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 uh, el, el, uh, the out the outward is uh, fast or was uh, step by step. It doesn't really specify that. It's just like the action of moving to a higher uh, position or or a high or a better job. Understand? Like, for example, uh, imagine if you get a job. Well, you work in a call center, right? Right. Okay, excellent. So when you started working at the call center, you were not a supervisor, you were an agent, correct? Mm -hmm. All right. So then with the time, you were able to get a promotion. So you got a supervisor position. So that is an upward mobility. When you get a promotion, when you get a higher, um, a better, sorry, a better job in the same company. It doesn't matter, like, how long did it take you, one year, two years? It doesn't matter. It's just the fact that you uh, got a promotion, got promoted, right? Is that clear? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right. So, to immediately, um, I will just share this. It's this one. All right. I just shared to the group that one so you can see that. All right. Let's see. Like, let's watch the example to see if we can understand this better, right? That report that you asked for. Thanks. Morgan did exactly what was asked of her. Nothing more, nothing less. She expects a raise and promotion. Thanks. Junior executive managing your accounts. Yes. Now, now you're getting it. Did you understand? Oh, in this one. She expects a raise. Junior executive manager. Junior executive manager data consultant. of data consulting. That's like supposedly the new position they offer her, right? Is that better than 
an assistant manager of junior accounts? Yes. Oh my God. Thank you. I'm going to go call my parents. All right. So if you understand that, people sometimes in the companies, the managers try to, or they invent some positions, but just the position, right? With the, with the same salary. But according to this video, millennials love to believe that they got a higher promotion. I mean, they got a promotion in their jobs and now they move from a assistant to the boss assistants or anything like that, for example. Is that clear? All right. Yeah. Oh, you're dead yet. I need to take work off tomorrow for Mental Health Day. Did you know millennials can actually be exceptionally creative with reasons why they need to miss work? These eccentric excuses are normal to them, and they will be to you too. Sure, that's a normal thing. Hi, um, I know I only get 10 days paid vacation, but that wouldn't count a three-week Argentinian surf spirit quest, right? Nope. Why would it? Oh, Ugh. why don't you go home early today? That's it. Any questions? Why even hire millennials? All right, so would you say that um, you know, people are like this. I, I have a question for you. Who was the other person working in the call center with you, Ivan? I don't remember. Me, Erica. <laughs> oh, hey, Erica. It's true. I remember now. <laughs> right? Would you say that that happens very often with millennials that they ask for permissions too much? Actually, <laughs> they sounds like me. I'm on my vacation. I, I need day off. <laughs> So you are the one actually asking for permission then. Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so thank you for validating the video theory, right? Okay, let's see. All right, let's see what else the video wa wants to show here. Let's see. All oh, right. Well, millennials comprise 19% of the workforce. If none of them worked and their parents supported them, it would cripple our economy and China would take over. So unfortunately, it's your civic duty to employ them. Trust us, we want to fire them all too, but we can. All right, so they don't like actually the millennials, right? Okay, excellent, thank you. Okay, the video mentioned four situations. What was the situation number one, people? Four on the phrase. Okay, and what was that about? Uh, the millennial is uh, he like a uh, uh, a praise. Uh, uh, okay. How do you explain? Mm -hmm. uh, praise elogios. Praise the 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 praise praise praise. The, uh, mm -hmm. praise. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Excellent. So, and then we continue this one. What was number two? Hello. Hello. Scheduling. Scheduling. Very good. And what was that about? Adward mobility. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Adward mobility, which means like they don't uh they don't know about like like why they have they do they have to start at 9 a.m., for example, things like that. Well, we need to also understand that it's also part of the culture, right? The American culture is a different thing because in El Salvador, everybody works early in the morning, no excuses, right? And the only places where you maybe can choose your schedule, it's in a call center. Other than that, you go for the schedule that the company gives you, right? And what is the last one? The last one, people, what was it? Very crappy. Be created when it comes to the asking for permissions, right? So, and then Erica validated that saying that, yes, it's me asking for permission all the time, all right? So, very good. So, questions about that, ladies and gentlemen? No questions? Hello, hello? No. No. no, no. Oh. Well, you don't have questions for me. I do have some questions for you. All right, so let's see. Okay. Teacher, but not only millennials. Gen C, it's scheduling, so. Oh, really? They don't like to wake up, I mean, to, to, to start working early in the morning. Yes, actually, imagine we have uh, the second turn. Mm -hmm. It starts at 9 a.m., actually. 
and we have uh, the, the 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 youngest girl in our team that she always is always late but always it every day she has an accident in the car i don't know how many cars she has but <laughs> every day she has an accident with the car because a motorcycle behind her because a motorcycle in front of her near to her it's like are you really kidding me or <laughs> what Oh my goodness. So, how, not, not only us. <laughs> how do you deal with that? Discount. <laughs> Discount. So you never you never fired him? <laughs> no. ba it's bad Actually we have we have, <laughs> we have per per week per week we have a twenty five minutes like a term to, to, to go late. And she's always five minutes late oh my goodness and she goes there every yes, day but exactly but exactly five minutes every day oh my goodness or if she got uh, she she got to the uh, to the work at wednesday for example at nine o'clock at uh -huh. the next day she take that those minutes i, I mean on thursday she got like nine and ten minutes later oh my goodness jesus jesus <laughs> all right so well let's say this one and uh, well it's time for you to actually um continue here with the conversation people so i'm going to show you um these questions right here in one quick second mm -hmm. Okay, trying to open this one so our computer doesn't want to work. Maybe my computer is millennial, maybe. <laughs> all right, so. All right. Can you see the screen or not yet? The new one. Not yet. Let's see. Okay, let's see this one right here. It's a question that I want to. I want to I want to see it's taking forever let me try to like share it again excuse me people can you see it okay there it should go there there it goes can you see it now yeah yeah all yes. right Excellent. So yeah. we are going to be working on answering that question. How are millennials changing the workplace? All right. So um, do you think like it's the same to work on, on a company that is just like, you know, people working for by millennials or it's different or what happens, right? Because, um, for example, I have the opportunity to work in places um, where everybody but when i'm saying everybody is everybody they were millennials so it was like you know not complicated environment because everybody understood everybody right and even though there were some excuses like for example the troubles that erica was mentioning before they actually went to an agreement and they tried to like you know um find a solution at the end but also, I have had the opportunity to work with Gen Z um, people, right? And yeah, there is a big difference when it comes to applying new methodologies or applying new solutions or using technology, for example, right? Um, just to give you an example, I remember uh, I was um, when I was studying at the university, you know, when I was studying at the university, um there was in every school, you know, there's always a computer classroom, right? And where you can go and use the computers to have your computers class. So, but the teacher, I was, um, you know, the teacher who was mentoring me, all right, uh, he never liked to ask for that room. So it was just like, why don't we do this with the class? Or why don't we apply this? Or why don't we play this game with the computer? But the guy was like, no, 
I don't like that one. And they were just like filling out papers and guides and etc. Right. So then I had just that issue with like a person from a different um generation, right? So but now everybody here, we are going to prepare here some answers. All right. So and, and we are going to um go back to the breakout rooms and to talk about the video, what you watch on the video, and to elaborate an answer who is going to be uh for no less than one minute so you can actually extend your ideas there all right remember you're going to be discussing how are millennials changing the workplace like do you understand the question people yes or no before i send you to the breakout rooms absolutely okay excellent so remember the question is about like in your opinion how do you think that the youngest generation, the millennials, are changing the workplace. Are they making the workplace a better place, making their lives easier? Uh, is it complicated to work with them? Uh, or according to the video, do you agree or disagree with the points that the video exposed, for example? All right. So let's just go right now to the breakout rooms, ladies and gentlemen, so we can actually continue with that um, discussion there. All right. One second, we create, how many are we now? 14, so we can get six rooms, seven rooms. All right. Go to the rooms, people. And if you have questions, please help me. Remember the question is, how are millennials changing their job environment? Or the workplace? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody, please join the rooms. I'm missing some people here to join the rooms, such as Ivan, Adriana, Hector, Jamie, Joelman. Well, Samantha, if you can join the room just to listen, that would be okay. Joman, Joman. Jeremy, are you there? I'm oh, sorry, Jamie, excuse me, my bad. Jamie? Jamie, Jamie. All right, Jamie, if you have the opportunity, you can join actually the room whenever you can. All right. Ready to practice, ladies? Yes, teacher. All right. So let's just start right now with uh, the questions. Do you, do you remember the questions? How millennials are changing the workplace? Yes, that's correct. How millennials are right, change that one, the workplace? Let me see if I can uh, send this to the group right now. Okay. Let's see this one. There you go. All right, here it is. So I got this one right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you you have the you have the picture. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, there you go. So it's in the group in case we didn't actually catch it, so you can see in a better quality. Okay. All right. Please, I want you to like start talking about that. I'll be back in a moment. All right. When I come back, I want to hear you talking and discussing. Okay, teacher. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. 
Hello, girls. What happens? Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Uh huh. Vanessa. Uh, have you uh, talked to Vanessa, Erica? Yes. So what she happened? Didn't she didn't answer. Okay, maybe she is just listening today. So then I will actually move you to a different room. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oops. Okay. Go to room number three. Okay. The work, your workplace, your position, your position, uh, uh, have a definition uh, as the tax uh, activities. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he is changing, this changing, and the and the better ways, the better ways, the 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 function, the activities, the tax in the in the positions. Is uh is is the better is the is the, the better workplace? Yes. Uh, and then, um, for el, for the site for the science uh, uh, the uh, environment environment and uh, the, the the department changing the work. Workplace. Uh, um, uh, I think the millennials are changing, uh, uh, but also the 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 world the words are changing too our the situation the millennials are changing the the the, the workplace and the workers are changing are changing but how how are they changing uh how the millennials are changing the workplace in your opinion uh joe man uh, i am uh, i am thinking thinking about that um how Like, for example, you are a millennial, right? Yes. Okay, so how are you changing things in your job? Are you providing uh, ideas? Are you suggesting new changes? I don't know. I think I, I, other person can be, can do, can do it. I can do the same. I I don't. It's it's difficult thing. What are the different things? Uh, because uh, you for example, you are you work in in kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, you just do it. Hamburgers. Mm -hmm. You are a young, a uh, a young man, a uh, younger. You just do hamburger, mm -hmm. and other person, a uh, older person, just do hamburger. 
What's the difference? I think mm -hmm. there's there's a little bit complicated. So let me see if I understand. So you're saying that it's difficult for you to to say that because of the example you gave me. So people are doing the same. Yes, it's the same. Nothing, nothing new, nothing for change. Maybe I think the per the the older person is more responsible. Hmm. I think the older person is more responsible. Okay. And the the the, the millennials or, or the young girls are in some case, no, not always, are less. Are you a responsible worker? Uh, yes, I am responsible, uh, but no, I'm, no, I am a distraído. <laughs> I get distracted easily. Distracted easily. I think the uh, uh, older person. Uh -huh. Are more uh, concentrated. Concentrated. Yes. Or focused. Uh huh. But we are we do the the same. The same. So it's, it's a little bit difficult for me. All you right. Know? No problem. No problem. Thank you for sharing your answer. That's actually a very good one because. You ex try to express a point based on your experience. Now, Carla, uh, have you talked about this question before? Carla? Hey, I think, hello? Okay, I, I, will hello? You, I will let you talk right now, Carla. So tell your answer to Joelman. I will go to a different room, okay? Hello. Yes, Can you hey. hear me, teacher? Yes, continue. Uh, uh, I think the millennials are changing. Yeah. I have a co-worker. Um, she, 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 she stopped the English class. She and quit. she quit the English class. Oh, she quit the English class. Mm -hmm. And actually, uh, are you are you trying to say actualmente? Yes. So that will be currently. Uh, currently. 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 So. Um, don't study again the English. She doesn't study English. Oh, she doesn't study English. Yeah, that's right. Okay. All right, excellent. Continue with the conversation, please. Oh, you finished already? Yes. Finish. All right, excellent. So in one minute, everybody will go back to the main class, all right? Okay. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, we're just waiting for everybody else to come, all right? So then we can continue with the conversation here.
15. Oh, hey, everybody's back. You didn't say anything. All right. So let's just continue right now. And let me just choose some volunteers right here. Okay, excellent. So let's see. The first person who came back from the breakout rooms was Ruth. Ruth, tell me a number between one and six, please. Hello, Ruth. Hello. Yeah, tell me a number between one and six. Repeat, please. Tell me a number between one and six. One number. Yes, uh, please. Coworker. Yeah, just tell me a number from one to six. Mm, four. Four. Thank you. So let's see. One, two, three. Uh, four. So let's see this one. Erica Martinez, are you available? Yes. <laughs> so, well, I guess there is you're the right person to answer this question and tell me how are millennials changing the workplace based on your experience? Actually, it's interesting because you say at the beginning of the class that we are lazy. And that's true, but we find another way to do the things a little bit easier than maybe we are doing right now. They they like uh, they hack some process and make them shorter than than the actual process. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, in uh, on my first word, <laughs> it was easy. It was funny because. They didn't know that the uh, the machine, the, the photocopy, the machine, mm -hmm. the, the video machine, actually it has the space for, uh, no sé cómo se dice, eh, para engrapar, para engrapar las páginas. Excuse me. The uh, photocopy the, machine. Yeah, the, the, the internet connection, I guess is maybe it's mine, but I, I, I heard you were talking about photocopies and then space. Space for what? Excuse me. <laughs> No worry. Okay. At the world that I was working like a few years ago, my first right. job, in the photocopy machine, the, the mm -hmm. person who was working there, they didn't know that the <clears throat> that machine has the space for the grapas para engrapar las páginas. Ah, all right. Staple. Uh, how? How? Staple. Stable. Okay. They didn't know that, that the machine has that space. So I found it and I was like, oh my God, you're smart. My goodness, you're the best. Uh, uh, the, the best employer, the best brand, okay, okay. And that was just, and actually it has the image on the photocopy machine. Maybe it was in English. <laughs> no, it, just the images. It was ah. the image. Okay. Yes. And for the next month, my boss told me that we save a lot of money without buying the ingrapadora. The stapler. The stapler. They, they save a lot of money without the, without buying the, those staplers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you yeah. see. Well, yeah. Thank you for providing an example um, regarding that one. <laughs> you definitely apply a change in that job, right? So, and you also help the company to save some money just by basically following instructions that were on the machine, right? So thank you very much for sharing that. Now, Erica, that you were uh, participating first, I'll give you the opportunity to select the next volunteer, please. My name or my number? Go by name. My name? Yeah. Um, Actually, I like Hector English. So, Hector, go ahead. <laughs> okay, Hector, it's time for sharing those English skills. You have a fun. Thank you, Erika. <laughs> uh, about the question, teacher, how are millennials change the workplace? That is correct. Okay. Um, I think and with Nelson talk about the environment inside the inside the office, mm -hmm. um, and the first the first uh, um, 
¿Cómo diría principios de año? On the... At the beginning of the year. At the beginning of the year. Huh? At the beginning of the year. Uh, maybe uh, the people hear music uh, with the speaker. And the millennials like music, different different kind of music. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe perreo or modern modern music. And okay. uh, older older guys, other people like another kind. They may be salsa, merengue, rock, and different kinds of music. Right. Uh, older music. Mm -hmm. And this for this situation, the boss said, "Hey, I don't, I don't uh, um, care. I don't care the, the the kind of music you you hear." But it's necessary use um, earphone mm -hmm. for for a different kind of music. Uh, for listening too, uh -huh. because because the millennials uh, no cannot work without music in your in your in your hair. I think mm -hmm. in your in your ear, and I think about that teacher. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Okay, okay, excellent. So, you know what? That's actually interesting. And, and you were talking about something that uh, sometimes might, might seem very simple, which is music, right? So, so for example, in, in your office, you have the opportunity to listen to music, right? Mm -hmm. But just the fact to listen to music, um, of listening to music, I'm sorry, can create a conflict because not everybody likes the same type of music according to their generation and also preferences, right? So yeah, thank you. Thank you for sharing that uh, experience as well. And uh, that's definitely, uh, but, but I have a question for you, Nectar, now that you talk about music. Do you think that it is because of the difference in generation or just the musical preferences? Not necessarily is a uh, depend of the age. Uh -huh. uh, how, how old is, are the people? Okay. Uh, but the the millennials, I think, is very straight, straight the kind of music uh, they hear. The tipo de música que escucha. They uh, listen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, they listen. They listen. is is very very narrow. I would say. Uh, it's, yeah, uh, narrow. Narrow. Uh huh. And, uh, maybe they like uh, electronic music or perreo or. Or the uh, modern music, but modern. the older people they have a main main uh, kind of music, like like a lot kind of music, Merengue, right. rock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for pointing out, right? Because sometimes it it's not about the age only; it's about the preferences, right? Because I know many millennials also who like all music, you know. Okay. You can find you can find a uh, millennials uh, who like music, but it's very very um, how to say raro, very um weird. Oh? weird. Weird. Yes, weird. Very weird. Wider? <laughs> <laughs> Weird. But you can find, you can find. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Thank you for that. Let's listen to the last person uh, to answer this question. So, uh, please, Hector, choose someone. Okay. Um, I choice to... Um, hey, close this. Ivan, Ivan Petrovich, Guzman Aquino, my friend. <laughs> I chose uh, you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Ivan. So we, we cannot see Ivan right there. He was in, in the lake or I don't know. Yes, I swim in. <laughs> I was swimming. All right. <laughs> so please go okay. ahead. How are millennials changing the workplace? Um, yeah. It's true. The millennial changes the, 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 the workplace, for example. Uh, uh, she and I talking. I talking 
with my friends uh, Fátima uh -huh. eh, le decía ¿cómo es? sería I was saying, telling her I was thank you I was telling her uh, I have a co-worker is millennia uh, uh, he's uh, he is the change the world areas the the process the process uh, improved oh. then mm -hmm. uh, el, uh, he, excuse me he digi, digitalizar the hypothesis right digitalize uh -huh. the hypothesis manual process mm -hmm. all the manual all the man, manual process he he changed a uh, digitalize Mm -hmm. for for uh, in the in the in the world technician is better is good excellent but uh the others uh, abilities mm -hmm. is a is is a little toxic my friend <laughs> oh really <laughs> yes 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 why would you say that uh, um uh, mucho habla. <laughs> he, he talks a lot. He talks a lot. Talks a lot. Uh, is is uh, uh, is a little uh, anxious. Anxious, you mean? Anxious, anxious. All right. Anxious, right. el de. Y lo y lo sabe todo. <laughs> no, no, it all. Un sabelo todo. Right? No, it all. Very. No, no, it all. No, it all. Un sabelo todo. Correct. Oh, no, it all. Okay. I'll write it here. No, no, it all. No, it all. No, it all. It's gonna be like this one. No, it all. Sabelo todo. I'm sending all these words, vocabulary, pictures to the WhatsApp group so you can have it there, all right? So you can take a look to that later. All right. Thank you, uh, Erika, I, Ivan, and uh, Hector for sharing, um, you know, that answer or those examples in the job. Now we're going to watch a video where we are comparing millennials with other generations, okay? So you can see this right now here. One sec. It's another B, people, so don't worry. It's going to be this is shorter and it's funnier. One second, the computer is sitting. My bad. I can turn. Ellen, yes. Uh, one second. Just no. 
Technical. She is Doris. <laughs> this lie is present. Okay, I'm back, I guess. Can you see it now? Can you see the new screen? Yes. Yeah. Right, teacher. It properly. Six in 1964. After the uh, World War II. Through the war, let's make whoopee. Yeah. And two thousand phone. You remember that? You were boomers. We are not, and I know this because it. So I boomers and millennials to see how well they. All right, so I'm another okay. All right. Okay, pay attention to this specific part of the video because in here, um, you know, uh, the TV host Ellen is going to ask questions about the opposite generation to the ladies, right? So, for example, she's going to ask uh to the lady with the. Um, uh, the baby boomer, she's going to ask questions about millennials and vice versa, right? So try to pay attention to the fact, to the way that they answer those questions, and then we can actually use it in our discussion. Let's see. What does it don't help any? YOLO. YOLO, people? That's an English a thing, right? Do you know the expression YOLO? Yes, you only mm. live once. Well, that is correct. Thank you. All right. Let's see. No, you live once. You're just getting started. Crazy. All right. So. Uh, actually, really? Yeah, yeah, you did. But he did. All right. Harrison. Okay. Oh, how do I get that? Yeah. Great. All right, Tracy. On Tinder, what would you do? Do you know what Tinder is? All right. Do you know that app? Have you heard about that app before? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Like swipe up. Yeah, you can oh, only okay. you can't like too many people. Oh, no. Turn the world on with a swipe. Yeah. The world on. Mary Tyler Moore. Yeah. Is that the show? Have you ever heard of that? It's hard to listen. That was it. That's, that's how. Yes, we that's get a fifty-five inch TCL four K. Well, they got a TV at the end. That's interesting. Nice. I wanted to have one of those TVs as well. All right, excellent. So after watching the video, so you were able to see how these ladies were actually having um, different opinions, different answers for questions, you know, that were opposite for their generation. So let's see, for example, if I want to ask something like Fatima, who are like the singers that you normally listen to? What's the type of music that you normally listen to? The music. Yeah. Um, reggaeton. <laughs> reggaeton. <laughs> all right. So, so you mean like Bad Bunny and Maluma and all those things? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. But what would that be like? Because I saw Daniel's expression. So, Daniel, what's the type of music you listen to? A bichota. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, my music is depending of my okay estado de ánimo. My mood. Oh, my mood. My, my mood. mood, yes, my, my mood. mood. I, 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 I give him every type, uh, okay, or type of music near reggaeton, but reggaeton of the old reggaeton, the first, the, first the old school reggaeton. Exactly. Oh. The, the reggaeton. <laughs> yes, I mean, I mean, I mean, him cumbia. Oh, yes, and yeah, he's okay. I mean, him in cumbia, uh, bachata, yeah, all type of music. <laughs> All right, yeah. Actually, I, I I couldn't agree more with you with that. That to like um, uh, music as well, like TV shows and those type of things. Actually, well, let's see this one right here. Uh, and now, ladies and gentlemen, so we will we still have a couple of minutes, so we're going to use the breakup rules for the last time. But this time, we're going to be answering some questions. So questions that I can see uh, and show you here. All right. So do you see the questions? Let me know when you see the new screen, so I can tell you exactly what questions I'm talking about. 
Do you see it now? Oh, well, it says your screen is loading. All right, one sec. Yes. Okay, here it is. All right, you see it, right? Yeah. So we're going to talk about this one's right here. The questions that I have here for you. All right, so this one. So like, do you think that uh, people from different generations share important characteristics? All right, what identifiable generation do you know? Do you know anybody from the boomers, from the Gen Z, from the Gen X, et cetera? Which generation do you belong to? What is belong, people? In the question number three, what's the meaning of belong? Pertenecer. Pertenecer, exactly. This one, belong to. All right. And are there any real differences in how people from different generations approach work? This is a very um, similar question to the one we were studying last night. When you see from uh, approach work. Right, so uh, are you able to like uh, understand this when it says approach work? What is approach work? Let's see if you remember that. Uh huh. Yes, yes, yes. You remember that? Yes or yes, no? Approach is like um the way the 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 I read and the person people. Uh-huh, exactly, right? So like the way that people like face their job or like that, or to like um send you right now to the breakout room so you can practice for this last activity before we finish the class, all right? Okay, let's see this one in one second here. Recreate. Okay, excellent. Go to the breakup rooms, people, and let's actually have a conversation with the last questions you saw there, all right? All right, all right. I'll send the questions to the group, but I'll do it a different way because right now, right now, right now, if I switch here, we might be in troubles. So let's see. Okay, here it is. Hello, Ruth, are you there? Well, poor Adriana will have to move. Huh? Yeah. No. In Spanish. <laughs> what? I don't understand Spanish. Can you speak me in English, please? <laughs> yeah. So it's just like you were stuck in traffic and you were actually by Domino's Pizza. I don't know what time. And you couldn't. <laughs> I heard everything. Really? <laughs> so you know what I'm leaving, what I do. All right. So <laughs> let's just go back. You know, that's not a good idea that you get together because you start gossiping, just like if you were with the band, Erica. <laughs> okay. Daniel, Daniel, not even. What's Daniel? Right. 
yesterday. Oh, I'm talking about yesterday. So yesterday, Ivan and you were practicing, and in, 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 what's the same? You were speaking Spanish and gossiping. No, no, it was not Ivan. It was Daniel. Oh, it was Daniel. It's true. It's true. Yes. It's true. yes. But imagine, we study in the same places in different age. Yeah, like 25 years difference, he said, right? Yes. With the same <laughs> teachers. And you know what? <laughs> And Erica, it's continuing gossiping right now instead of practicing the question. <laughs> it used to happen with the I'm really sorry. Hector. It's, it's, Go ahead. No. As you said before, right? So millennials say they will practice, but they will practice in their way. <laughs> we are millennials, teacher. All right, yeah. All right. <laughs> you are millennials. Erika? Yes, I born in, in, 90, in 1995. E, very younger lady. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, no, I will go to a younger. room, maybe if I come back, so you will be practicing at the time you're like, you know, this cost okay. the time. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Okay, do you still two thousand fifteen? Hello. Beef. After millennials, what generation is? I guess next? It's generation Z. Uh, after this, generation alpha. Oh, no, that's like when you generation started. Generation alpha. The alpha is 2000. Mm. Sixteen to two thousand fifty-five. Mm -hmm. Generation like... Alpha is the people born born two thousand fifteen. So it's like the current babies, basically. Yes. <laughs> okay. So do you think that they are going to be even more different than generation and the millennials and baby boomers? Yes. Yes, because this generation is uh, the, the child born with the technology, mm -hmm. born with the cell phone. In the Carla, <laughs> Carla, what generation are you? Do you, you belong to? Do you? What? Do you? That's the question number three, Fatima. Which generation do you belong to? Which, gener which generation do you belong, belong to? All right, thank you. Uh, generation X. Before millennials. Yes. Okay. And, and, you... and you, Fatima, are you millennials? I'm millennial. Hmm. So it's just like lazy and complete. But I'm not lazy. <laughs> <laughs> so like, let's say that you are, you are a millennial, but with the attitudes of um, Gen Z. Mm. Yes. Or 50 and 50. Some, some yes, 50, 50. <laughs> but the millennials uh, are dramatic and I'm a little, little dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. I agree with you. 
So it means that you, Carla, you are not dramatic. No. <laughs> I think the problem with the millennials is the they they want to do everything quickly. That's true. Or everything fast. And sometimes they don't they don't hear the instruction and they instructions. Yes. They, they do instruction and they do other things. This happened this happened with in, in my job. Mm -hmm. All right, so I see. Well, it's interesting to see that, you know, I really like this room because you girls are from two different generations and you can share actually your point of views, right? Thank you. Well, we are going to uh, close the room right now so we can go to the um, main room so we can finish the class there, all right? Go back to the main class, please. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Carla. Thank you. All right, welcome back everybody else, all right, from the, uh, the breakout rooms, all right, so um, I hope you have discussed the questions, right? I heard some people were gossiping in the rooms, right, and I heard some other people were actually practicing, so, but even though you were not maybe perhaps talking about the topic, I have to say thank you for speaking English, right, so remember that at the end of the day, that's what it really matters, right? That you speak English, that you practice more your speaking skills, right? So you can communicate with other uh, people using the language, right? So we are going to stop right here because it's time for you to go home. I mean, you are at home already, right? To go to bed, that's what I want to say. All right, so, and uh, I wish you have a good night, people, right? Now, I'll see you tomorrow. Try to be on time, try to practice more. So we will be like, you know, no more millennials tomorrow, I promise. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Have a wonderful night, people. I'll see you tomorrow. Be punctual, please. Do your homework and practice. If you have any questions, please use the WhatsApp um, or the chat so you can attack me and I will be more than happy to clarify any question. All right. Have a wonderful night. Take care. Good night. Thank good you. Night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.